Hello Internet, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm showing you how to restore your DJI drone to factory settings, maybe potentially in the hopes that you're going to sell it privately, and in my case I am trying to sell the Mavic Pro so that I can fund the Mavic Pro 2. So this is the only way to do it, you can't do it through the DJI Go 4 app, you actually have to come on to the DJI website come to the Mavic Pro page for example, I will have the link in the description below to actually get to this shortcut, and then you click on download, so that will be the shortcut I send you right there, Mavic forward slash info hashtag downloads. And then look over here at software, look for the DJI Assistant, and you either have a Windows version, or you have an Apple version or a Mac version. So I have downloaded the DMG file, which is right here, and then when I tap on it, it will actually open up the DJI Assistant application. I had to go into my security and privacy settings under system preferences and I actually had to go here to allow apps downloaded from and then it came up with the option to open DJI Assistant 2 and then from there you can click on your download and it will go through the process of installing it onto your Mac or your PC. The application has installed, so here is the assistant here. You open it up and it will literally just open up a basic page here. DJI Assistant 2. Sorry for all the annoying noise out there, by the way. People are doing work, of course, when I'm trying to do a video. Anyway, so here we go. You've got all the options to turn on. DJI and third-party partners will access the following information. So user account information, duh, 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 duh. I'm just going to kind of leave them off, I don't really want that to be passed on. Join user experience, sure. And then here we go, so this is the home page here. So all you have to do is plug in the USB now which is connected to the Mavic. There we go, I've connected that in. And then in a few seconds it should pop up, now you actually have to turn the drone on, that would help. And it is turning on now, you could hear it there. And then this program here will recognize the Mavic Pro very soon, hopefully. Here we go. So then it will come up here, connected devices. And this same process applies to the Phantom, the Spark, or the Mavic Air, or whatever DJI drone you have. You literally just do the same process. And then when you double click, or just click on the Mavic Pro, it will load up some fascinating information. It will let you know what firmware you are up to. You can see flight data on the side, black box, calibration and a few other settings down here. It's taken a while to load up the firmware update. Here we go. So you'll see I've got three official ones here, um, and this is the current one I'm using. So you can refresh it, you can downgrade, you can see the release notes. But here's what we're looking for here, restore factory defaults. And this is basically if you're having issues, I guess, or if you want to try to privately sell this. Unfortunately, when it comes to the flight data here, you'll see that when I go confirm an open data viewer, it doesn't actually show you anything. So I think this is more so if you send your drone to DJI, they will be able to access the flight data. So flight data is saved to your account on your DJI app. So hopefully that kind of stuff doesn't get transferred. I'm sure it will be actually within the drone. So if DJI need to access it at some point, and I believe that they've done this just so you can't delete flight data if you're trying to get away with saying, oh, I didn't crash the drone, and then you remove that flight data. So they're trying to kind of keep control of that. So unfortunately, you can't seem to do too much there. You can calibrate and do a few other things through this little application. But the main reason we are here is to restore to factory settings. And now we've got to wait again. Here we go. So restore factory defaults, confirm. And then you will see it do its thing. Here we go. 10, 12, 15, 16, 18, 20, 21. Doop, doop, doop. I'll be back in a second. All right, so we are getting to the end now. 90, here we go, 100, and it has finished. So complete, and that's literally it. It's a very simple process. Um, but while we are here on this application here, I just want to mention that you can downgrade, and this can be really beneficial. If you're having issues with the current version, if you're having big bug issues, or you're having issues with performance, or for whatever reason something's going wrong with your drone, then this would be my first recommendation. Coming to the DJI Assistant 2, and then downgrading your firmware to a previous, more stable firmware. So that's it guys, that's this very quick little video here. It's as simple as that to restore factory defaults. And now my drone is ready to sell privately and hopefully I can get the Mavic Pro 2 when it is released. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you have a fantastic day and peace out.